You know, it's all about timing. And sometimes you'll look around and you see everyone else get blessed and you wonder when's your turn. You know, and, and LC's been patient. We've been very patient, waiting and waiting our turn, and we're just glad that I mean, 50 years, that's the perfect timing. On January 15, 1965, Louisiana College dedicated its newest facility, the H.O. West Physical Education Building. Under the leadership of legendary coach and athletic director Billy Allgood, what was then an ultra-modern structure was built for $650,000, with the capacity to seat 4,800 fans. It would become the home of legendary teams and players for both LC's men's and women's basketball programs. There's been some outstanding men and women come through our program, uh, have brought a lot of uh, tradition and pride to our program. Uh, you know, we've, we've, we've graduated uh, educators, superintendents, doctors, lawyers, uh, dentists, the gambit, you know. I mean, uh, we have an awful lot, tremendous amount of, uh, uh, of pride in, the, in our graduates and our alums that played here. We've always had one of the best programs in our conference. We were in AIA before, now we're in CAA Division III, and uh, people don't like to play us, and they really don't like to play us here. But as time marched on and players came and went, one thing remained at HO West, the original court. Years of stripping, sanding, and repairing left the old court well past its designed shelf life. And what had at one time been the standard in small college circles was suddenly a liability. And obviously H.O. West needed the most attention. You know, hadn't had a gym floor in 50 years and it, was, it had become really dangerous. It had been stripped one too many times, so it really become a liability and a real dangerous situation. So we made the commitment that when the opportunity presented itself that that would be the first area we would address. Shortly after Dennis Dunn added the title of athletic director to his successful run as LC's football coach, the college received a substantial donation from a supporter who wished to remain anonymous. The money was enough to repair the HOS roof, replace the 50-year-old court, and add new lower bleachers with a much more modern look. Being able to see the, the smiles on the, the girls and, and men's basketball faces and then Coach Rush and even got grinned a little bit, you know, when he found out it was really happening. For Gene Rushing, who played at LC in the late 60s and served as Allgood's assistant from 1974 to 1985 before finally becoming head coach himself in 1986, the new court has added meaning. Its design mirrors the inspiration he had for such a court several years ago while watching a Kansas Jayhawks game. I said, man, I really like that. So uh, when they said, you know, we're going to redo the old floor to a certain extent, put some new, try to give a new face left. I said, well, let's go with a wildcat head in the middle, Louisiana College, huge letters on the side, and wildcats like that on the end. So uh, that's how I sort of envisioned it, you know. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. Coach Russian designed it. It's him 100%, and we are so excited to have this new gym floor. The new floor would be installed by Holder & Sons of Shreveport, the same company that installed the original way back in 1965. The original floor that was put down was so good and of such high quality material that the base, they didn't even have to replace it. 
that's how good the original floor was. I don't think they probably make gym floors like that anymore. The project to replace the floor began in the fall and was originally projected to be completed by the home openers on November 17th. But several factors, mostly weather related, caused the project to be delayed. Where one week turned into a month, one month became two, and the men's and women's teams were suddenly forced to become road warriors. Well, I told them at the beginning of the year there's a possibility we would be on the road for 10, 12 ba basketball games. Uh, uh, wasn't for sure how long it was going to take. So mentally they were somewhat prepared to uh, know that it could be an extended time that we're out there on the road. Uh, but, it, you know, it, it's been a challenge. It's definitely been a challenge. Um, I think that's one of the things that I brought to them is I didn't let them dwell on the negativity. I've always been a positive person and I've taught them how to see the positive in everything. So one of the things we, uh, we would talk about is every time we had to get on the road, I said just think in January and February when classes are starting and everyone else is on the road, we're at home with our feet up. We have each other to lift each other up and we just keep pushing each other, telling each other it's going to be okay. We need to win on the road, get these big wins and that just motivates us for our upcoming home games to play harder and hopefully host it here. That's like our motivation. This has been my line. We have waited 50 years for this. If we have to wait another week, I am okay with that. A silver lining to the wait for the Wildcats has been the generosity of nearby LSU of Alexandria which let LC use its court for several games while the newly painted floor at LC continued to dry. In the meantime, a large community event, Fill the Fieldhouse on January 24th against Letourneau, will become the day the LC men and women finally take to the court in their first home game at the new HO West. And LC players of the past are invited to attend the floor dedication. Each will receive his or her own piece of the floor as a keepsake, and copies will be available to the public for purchase at $20 apiece. The new floor will be dedicated in between the men's and women's games that start at 1 and 3 respectively, and there will be a number of contests for students and other fans with a chance to win $1,000 for making a half-court shot, $200 for textbooks, and even the chance to win a new car. The community is going to be so involved. Every field of field house I've ever been a part of, it had, we have literally filled this field house. And I try to get the kids to understand, um, you know, that's a great memory for me. I broke the record here during Field the Field House of my senior year. And that's the last Field the Field House that I have in my mind. So that's what I keep going back to. I'm like, it's going to be even, even more great because the community really gets involved. And to get behind us with something so grand, I think it's going to be a really special day. From players to coaches to administrators, the LC Athletic family cannot wait to show off their new courts. I think it's going to be a big boost to every program that exists down here. You know, all of our physical education majors have come through this gym in the last 50 years. All the basketball teams have used it. Uh, most of the athletes, our athletic training room is in this building. So this is a very used building and uh, it's, it's gorgeous and beautiful is all I can say. With the, uh, the brightness of our colors, our our blue and our orange on a brand new floor that's uh, very shiny and bright. Uh, it's just outstanding. It uh, brings a lot of pride and uh, I know to, uh, to myself and uh, all the coaches, uh, uh, it's, just a, it's just a good day. It's a wonderful day for Louisiana College and also for our former players. Well, when you bring recruits in and they see the new bleachers and new floor, it's, it has to have an impact. I came in 89 and the floor was bad then, so you know this is really a treat to be able to look out here and see something as nice as this. I think it breathes a breath of fresh air into the whole athletic department today. There is something moving on campus. I really believe that if we continue to do this right, then we can sell Louisiana College for what it really is, and it's a place that young people can come and have a great college experience while getting to do some things that they love to do. There's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears on that old court. I mean, that's what I would miss about the old court, but the new court is like a new beginning, and it's gonna, it's gonna symbolize the new beginning to a fresh start, a just new things that's gonna happen, new accomplishments, new expectations. It's just, just watching that and knowing that it's other people going in those footsteps is going to make me feel amazing because I know what it takes and what it 
all the hard work it took on that court and just to leave it and it's like new now, it's like a fresh start. So I feel like it's gonna be good. I tell my girls, favor isn't fair, you know, and you never can pinpoint what exactly it is that you've done in life or sometimes you haven't done anything at all. It's just you happen to be in the right time at the right place, but you work hard to put yourself in a position so that you can be a part of special things like this. And I just give God all the glory for that. Thank you.